In my last video, I asked you all one simple but important question. Do you want change? I asked you only to put the words yes or no, depending on how you felt. Well, the votes are in, and to no surprise, roughly 83% said yes, and 16% said no. And about 1% said they couldn't answer the question because it was too vague. Now, for the people who said yes, that you do want change, this just happens to be where I personally fit in on this poll. Now, for the people who said no, I may not feel the same way as you, but I do respect your answer. And I'm not trying to make you feel like your answer is incorrect in any way. Also, I really wish I felt the same way as you do about the world today and the direction that we're headed. Now, for the 1% or so of the people that couldn't answer the question because of the fact that it wasn't specific enough to answer correctly, I can respect that position as well. Now, some people probably think that the whole point of this video was to show that 83% of the people who watched the video wanted change. That I wanted to prove something like more people want change than those that do not. That was not the point of the video. I think at this stage in the game, with the recession slash depression, the ongoing war in Iraq that we're not getting out of anytime soon, and the deployment of another 17,000 soldiers to Afghanistan, gearing up for another potential conflict there, and the wonderful stimulus package that virtually destroyed the stock market the minute it was passed by the president, and on and on. And there's just too many things to list in this short video. But most people can agree that things are pretty bad right now, and it could get a lot worse. So what was the whole point of my video change? So what was the right answer? And what was the wrong answer? Well, the truth is, there was no wrong answer. The only wrong answer was no vote at all. The point was to show how many people who just don't give a damn. It didn't matter if you wanted change. What mattered is that you spoke up and said with some conviction what was on your mind. And since there are 4,900 total views of the video in 48 hours and only about 2,200 comments, about 55% of the people were just too damn lazy to even type in three letters in the comment section. Yes or no. This video is a show that even though roughly 83% of the people, when asked if they wanted change, did want it, that they couldn't be bothered to do the very minimum to speak up and state their opinion. Yes, no, or even I can't answer because there wasn't enough information. Everyone is given the opportunity to speak out every day. They complain all the time, yet they never lift a finger to do something about it. So for all you watching this video who didn't participate, you have two choices. You can either get pissed off at me and call me names and defend your apathy, or you can simply take this message for what it's worth and see the whole point of this video. I'm not trying to make fools out of anyone that watches my videos. I get no joy in something like that. What we do need is your help to speak up for our rights and our freedoms. We need you, and I mean we need all of you. If you're subscribed to this channel, you know this is not an entertaining channel. I find no humor in what's happening right now. War, famine, sickness, depression, torture, execution, brutality, corruption, I can go on and on. But I can't joke about these types of things. This channel has one purpose and one purpose only. To speak about things of importance. Things that will most likely affect you or someone you care about. This exercise was literally the least you could do to vote. You didn't have to leave your home, you didn't have to stand in line, you didn't have to go out of your way. You were right here at your computer. And all you had to do was literally take two seconds to vote. And that's why I turned off the ratings. I want to keep this exercise as simple as possible. Some of my videos can take weeks to make, not to mention that I need to make them in a particular order, like all the Viacom videos, to try and make the right impact. That project took me two months to complete, and it failed miserably. Nothing changed. We didn't get DMCA reform. Videos are still getting unjustly removed, and good channels are still getting suspended. And that was the whole purpose behind those videos. It was to fix the system. The system is clearly broken, and we need to work together to get these problems fixed. Now I can show you how to beat Warner Music Group, but I can't do it alone. Here's the truth about videos on YouTube. They're literally dead within 48 hours, and I call it the 48 hour rule. Once a video is older than 48 hours, all the visibility for that video, like most viewed, top rated, most discussed, are removed and the video might as well be on your C drive, because virtually no one will really ever see it again after that. And here's a visual of the lifespan of videos here on YouTube. Now I need to clear one thing up right now. Some people have the ridiculous misconception that I make videos because I want attention. And if I was all about the views and subscribers, I would never have left my last channel to do this one. That channel at the time was the most subscribed in its genre and was gaining between 50 and 100 subscribers a day minimum. And would easily have been around 40 to 60,000 subscribers right now had I continued making videos for it. So if I was simply about having subscribers and views, this was easily the dumbest way to go about that. I could make videos all day long about the Watchmen, Transformers, Terminator, and Star Trek and get hundreds of thousands of views, but I don't. Why? 
Because we're in a lot of trouble. And if we all ever want to sit back and really enjoy the music and arts again, we have work to do. I knew a lot of bad things were coming. The recession, the stock market collapse, the never-ending war in Iraq, and the possibility of a new one in Iran or Afghanistan. I always knew these things were coming, but in 2007, I could see them coming from a mile away. And here I was talking about entertainment. I was becoming a distraction to the real news. I was just like all the other things keeping you from finding out the truth. So in early 2008, I made a video telling people why I was doing this channel and focusing on the news rather than entertainment. Some people were not happy about that at all. And some people are still not happy about the choice I made. And it really comes down to this one little quote right here by Edmund Burke. All that's necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. And I believe this to be 100% true. And that was the whole point of these two videos. There is an age-old question. Are people good or evil? I've actually thought about this quite a bit recently, and after thinking about it, I've come up with my own personal conclusion. I believe that over 90% of people are really pretty good people. Sure, they have their flaws, but I believe there are many more good people out there than bad. Now, the only problem is that 10% owns and runs damn near everything. We play by their rules. We do what we're told. We go to school. We learn a job as opposed to think and truly develop as people. The ideal person for the elite is someone just smart enough to do a job successfully, but never realize that they never accomplished anything of importance until they're too old and beaten down to do anything about it. We all start here, and we all end here. There's a limited amount of time we have here, and if you want change, you have to make it happen, and not expect someone else to make it happen for you. This channel, and others like it, need support. do open people's eyes to the fact that we're being lied to year after year, party after party, and leader after leader. The internet is the last place to go to get through the propaganda and get to the real heart of the story. Look, I don't have all the answers, but I do think I need to help in any way I can. So my final question after you've seen this video is, is do you still want change? Knowing that it may take some effort on your part, and if you do, what are you going to actually do to help make real change happen?